Morning everybody, Hi, Mileage Rider here. And today's video is going to be a route that we have not done before. We are going to Fort Assiniboine and we are going to take the Vega Ferry, which we've never been on. If you're interested, come along for the fun. What a glorious morning to be out for a ride. Little overcast, but the temperature's good. You can wear all your gear and not be hot and sweaty. Out with your buddies, having a great time. Here we are making a right hand turn onto our first gravel road of the day, which will lead us to the Vega Ferry. This is a nice long slow descent down to the Vega Ferry. It's hard packed gravel, very nice to ride on, with lots of beautiful scenery on the way down. So as we come up to the Vega Ferry here, you'll see that there is a stop sign on our right, which Heath just blew right through. Apparently last week there were police there handing out tickets. Well Heath, you managed to blow right through that stop sign, that one right there. I think the ferry van is going to make you push that bike all the way back up the hill. If you've been going any faster, you might have decapitated yourself on that chain. I bet you could jump it, Heath. Hang on, I gotta run out of here. I could jump it. And just like that, we are on the thing. Another successful GPS navigation with two GPSs. Alright, that was fun. What does this sign say up here? Let's have a look. Uh, the Klondike Ferry. Not a long ferry ride, but it was fun. Hey Heath, how much gravel do we have till we get to Fort Assiniboine? 40 to 50 kilometers of gravel and ATV trails. That sounds awesome. Now boys, we've never been here before, so don't ask me how the heck we get home, because I have no clue. It'll be GPS to the rescue.
Steve, I'm noticing all these trails off to my right. How come you aren't taking any of them? You know you want to. Wow, it's a little squirrely here in this sand. I think I'm going to have to slow down a bit on these bald tires. Let's just sit back and enjoy the ride and this beautiful scenery. So things got a little soft here on the road, and this is the Steve Squiggle, as we'll call it. Just a little bit soft. When you look at us, you can see we're not really off-road riders. Now that is a beautiful image. Four bikes parked on a gravel road, leading to nowhere. So here we are back on paved roads all the way to Fort Assiniboine. So this is the thriving metropolis of Fort Assiniboine, a local convenience store, a few businesses here and there, a giant wagon wheel off to our left. I think we're going to have to turn around and get a picture with that. making a lunch stop at the general store. Now, let's do a before and after. Tread on Heath's tires. Tread on Daryl's tires. Yeah, I really should have thought of that before picking a route with so much gravel. There we go, back on to 43. The good old super slab.
I just love this turn off of 43 back onto 16. <laughs> it's got a nice long uh, lane for merging so people can actually go the speed limit. The only downside is there's not a whole lot to see between here and getting home. Well, you guys have a good rest of the day. I'm going to keep going straight. Because since I'm actually back on time, I'm going to go visit a buddy of mine and then I got to go get some milk. We'll see you guys later. I probably will not ride next weekend because I'm going to drop the Tenere off for its tires. Unless I'm convinced to ride the Goldwing. <laughs> see you guys. So that was another awesome day of riding with the boys. Got to go on a totally different route, got to take a ferry ride, got to ride about 40 kilometers of gravel on my seriously needing to be replaced tires. They're luckily being replaced next weekend, so I will not be riding. I hope you guys enjoyed this route, and as always, we'll see you in the next video. Remember to keep that right hand cranked and the rubber side down. <laughs>